Latino Network in the Rockwood area of Gresham has more than 20 years of history. This is a place of joy for our community. Tony DeFalco is executive director, helping spearhead a big new project, a multi-million dollar community center called La Plaza Esperanza. It will include a preschool and hub for social services in East Multnomah County for the 50,000 Latinx community members living nearby. You belong as a Latinx member of our community. This space is yours. Throughout the pandemic, Latino Network has provided culturally specific outreach to give these communities access to COVID testing and vaccines. Data in 2020 and 21 showed a disproportionate impact of COVID on Latinx Oregonians, who made up only about 13 percent of the population, but ranged from 27 to 40 percent of positive cases. That's why testing events hosted by trusted groups like Latino Network were important. Dr. Nick Cashy with Legacy Health said this at a testing event last year. This is the work where it matters. As a physician, this is one of the most professionally satisfying things I've done in, in a long time. And now, rising gun violence is another concern. Disproportionately, again, impacting communities of color, especially our Black and Latinx community members. Is that something that you hope to address even further as you grow your organization as well? Absolutely. You know, there was a, a shooting at the intersection of 162nd and, and Stark, three blocks from our new facility. You know, it exposed yet again the need for places of safety, for places where youth can access services and be off the street. The new facility on Southeast 165th would provide that space. To get there, a recent $1.5 million grant is adding to a total of $10 million raised so far. Latino Network needs four and a half million more to start building with a plan for 2024. Ultimately, La Plaza Esperanza aims to live up to its name as a place of hope. In a time of, of often hopelessness for many uh, members of our community right now. Galen Etlin, KGW News.